This video is about the new Pixel Your Site feature. It's a very simple one. It's a dedicated Facebook Pixel ID for just one WooCommerce category. Uh, it's something that um, a lot of people asked us to do, especially people coming from Shopify to WooCommerce, because I think there is an app there that uh, has such a feature. So uh, we decided to, to implement it. And I'm going to show you how it works. It's um, better to, to see it because you will understand what I mean. Okay, so now I'm uh, in, uh, inside Pixel Your Site. This is the normal uh, Pixel ID that's uh, added on, on this website. As you can see, we just have this ID. Okay, and I will add this as a category pixel. So um, you have to go on WooCommerce categories, products categories. If you create a new category, you have these, uh, these fields right here, the Facebook pixel ID. If you want to send uh, conversion API events, you have a token field. And if you want to test uh, this pixel, you have a test event code. Let's add it to this category. So I'm editing an existing category right now. I just add the pixel and update. Now, if you have a cache, you should delete the cache. Sometimes you have to delete the browser's cache as well. Of course, I'm uh, uh, reloading the main page, so I will have only the, the, the normal pixel ID. Let's try with the product from a different category, so not uh, accessories, this one, t-shirts. And we should have just the, the normal, the default pixel ID here as well. And yes, that's correct. Now, let's go back and visit this category and you can see we have the normal pixel id and the category pixel id uh, of course we don't have a product category sorry a product category catalog uh, connected to this pixel so this is why uh, we see this warning but the interesting thing is that if i add a product card the add to cart will fire for the normal pixel and for the category pixel as well. Now I'm going to the checkout page. Again, the initiate checkout event will fire for both pixels. So this one, two. Okay. And if I buy the product, the purchase event will fire for both pixels so you have a purchase for the second pixel so there you have it you can easily install a facebook pixel id for just a specific product category and all the events related to that category will be fired um, that's view category uh, view content, add to cart, initiate checkout, and purchase. This is everything I want to explain. I guess uh, I should end the video here. By the way, I was told to ask you to uh, like the video, subscribe, and if you have anything to say, uh, comment. Apparently it helps. Okay, so uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.